Um, recently in the napkin club, some of you are in our napkin club that are watching right now, uh, or not too long ago, we made this really cute reversible accent pillow really cute reversible accent pillow. We have the pillow covers in stock. We have the pillow inserts in stock in our shop. Um, and it's so cute. It is not made for comfort. It's truly a decorative accent. It's 12 by 12, which is such a great little size. And we did, I know it's hard to believe it. Yes, this is napkin art. Okay. This is napkin art. This napkin, these napkins, uh, uh, isn't it cute? These napkins are featured in our Boo to You little mini Halloween bundle, which I believe we still have some of those left as well. So let me show you it to you over here. I have to back this camera up. <laughs> Isn't it cute? So what's a napkin? This is a napkin. This black with the polka dots is a napkin. Isn't it so adorable? So we decorated them and, you know, I think it looks really cute, but it needs something else. I like to put tassels on these accent pillows. They're just so adorable. So what I do is when I make the pillow, notice that the zipper is on the side and I do that so that the zipper's up here at the top so I can tie on my tassel. So for October, my pillow will be facing this way. Okay. Isn't it so cute? Um, but uh, then it's going to switch this way. This is also napkin art. I'm telling you, we do all kinds of things in the napkin club. So this is a napkin, these beautiful pumpkins and gourds. It's like a true to life kind of, uh, of art <laughs> napkin. And then um, this plaid is also a napkin. Let me just let you kind of look at that closely. So then when I switch it, I'm going to take the Halloween tassel off and I'm going to switch it and put on, tie on my fall tassel. Okay. So much fun. I love um, creating, you know, just doing fun things. And I've been needing to do this um, in the napkin club. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this for craft and chat. Everybody can see how to make a tassel. So I'm not actually showing you how to make the pillows today. <laughs> I'm actually showing you how to make the decorative accent, which is going to be the tassel. Now, tassels don't aren't just decorative accents, although they are super, super cute. We're going to do our Halloween one first, I think. Um, tassels can be used for all kinds of decorative accents. I've made all kinds of pieces and hung a tassel off of it. Um, I've even made them to wear. They're very, very cute to wear. You can make seasonal tassel necklaces if you want to. I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites here. Um, I love these. I made these to wear. They're literally just different um, lace. Um, there's crocheted lace. There's all kinds of fun stuff in here. I just wanted to show you. There's even some pearls hanging down in this one. And I want you to look closely at this. I'm going to put it over here so you can see it a little better. I want you to look closely at this. Look at the top of this tassel. That is a thimble. That is a thimble that I just punched a couple of holes in the top of and then capped it off with some pearls. Um, it's just so, so pretty. This has kind of some vintage lace and just different things in it. You can tie charms off of these. Um, you can really do whatever you'd like. Here's another one that's topped a little differently. Still a thimble, but it has, again, pearls. And I put this little Inspire charm on this one. Sometimes I'll add charms kind of hanging down in the tassel, but they look so cute when you're wearing them. It's like a long necklace, right? Um, very, very cute when you're wearing them. So these could be wearables right? These could be wearables. These could be a tie back on, you know, something. Um, I alter a lot of like train cases and, you know, I love to repurpose things and these tassels just look great on things. So today we're going to make a, a couple of tassels and they're going to be for each side of my reversible accent pillow. Okay. Yes. We've made them for our Bibles. Um, the ones I've made on my Bibles have been from embroidery floss. Um, that's a, a, a really, another really fun technique. I should have thought about that and, and had some embroidery floss here, but I don't think I do. 
So we're going to focus on these to start. They are very, very easy to make and they're just so much fun. Yes, you could absolutely make them smaller for earrings. Absolutely. You can make them any size you want. You can make them as big or thick as you want. Um, gosh, um, there's really no set rules. Um, you can hang keys and trinkets and charms and whatever you want to hang off of them. For my Halloween one um, today, I'm actually using some of this uh, tinsel. Um, this is the tinsel that I have on the front of the pillow. I have the purple and the orange. So, so cute. But I actually, for our, our tassel, I have the purple, the orange, and the black. And this is going to look amazing. And this would be so cute to even be a tassel that you could wear, you know, just to, with your, your fun Halloween t-shirts or something like that. So I'm using this tassel. Now, this is tassel that we're actually selling. Um, when I showed the nap, uh, when I showed the workshop in the napkin club, um, I knew the girls in the group would want the, the, ta the uh, tinsel for it. OK, it's really cute. It's sparkly tinsel. So we're selling it in one package um, that has two yards of each color. OK, and if you'll watch, Cheryl will probably post a link to that. We still have quite I think we have over, over 50 packages of it left. So you'll wind up getting six yards, two, two yards of purple, two yards of orange, two yards of the black. So if you really like what I show you today, you may want to um, get yourself some Halloween tinsel. Um, thinking forward to Christmas with the different colors that we can get of tinsel for Christmas. Oh, that'd be so that'll be so fun, right? Um, you could use yarn. You could use yarn. Okay. Cheryl just posted the link to the tinsel pack. Um, but yes, absolutely. So you could use yarn. There are so many different types of yarn now, thick, thin, sparkly, furry, you know, <laughs> all kinds of things. So I think that that, that yarn is always, you know, could be a great accent as well. Um, baker's twine. Okay. Baker's twine. I'm going to use a little bit of baker's twine in my Halloween. Um, uh, actually, I'm going to use baker's twine, this black and white in my Halloween tassel. And in my fall tassel, I'm going to use some thin jute because the thinner, if you put a few strands in there that are thinner, it's really easy or it's much easier to um, tie off little charms or beads, wood beads, whatever you want. Okay. Really, really fun. Yes, we'll be getting in some for Christmas. Absolutely. We, not yet. We don't have it in yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> in fact, I have been working, I've worked mainly at home this whole week, or at least the latter half of the week, um, because I'm doing a lot of planning and developing and designing and all of the things, making some, some you know, key decisions on what I'm going to be creating with um, for this upcoming holiday, for the up upcoming holidays and Christmas. So just kind of finalizing some plans, finalizing some things I'll be teaching for craft and chat and things like that. So um, we will definitely be getting in some Christmassy colors for, of the tinsel for sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I want to show you some beads I'm going to be using today. Okay. So these are Halloween beads. I think they're so cute. They're all wooden beads. Um, I actually got these on Amazon. They come in a box like this. Not only are there some really cute beads, um, there's some cute little shaped, uh, well, they're actually beads. They have a little hole running through them, but you could think of these almost like as, as little charms or something. So I'm going to be running some of these into my tassel. They're just so cute. And of course, I love um, having some of these fun options. Look at the spider web. Isn't that cute? Having some of these fun options for beads for our tassel as well. So because I'm not carrying these in my online shop, they're now in my Amazon storefront. Did you guys know that I have an Amazon storefront now? Um, it's very new, very new for us. We have never done this before. Um, but it's going to be great, I think, because there are so many times that if it's not something I carry in my shop, it's so nice to be able to give you guys a link to it. And now if you go into the Amazon storefront, you're going to see like um, where you're going to find these beads is going to be under um, the napkin club because I'm using it on a napkin club project. But there's several different little, little, you know, um, 
places that you can go and check out some of my favorite things that I get on Amazon for um, my different groups and just things that I like. Um, the things I got like for my coffee bar are on there. There's, there's all kinds of things. So I hope that you enjoy having that Amazon storefront. So anytime I feature something that's going to be on Amazon, I'm going to throw it in there. I do get a small, um, I'm considered an influencer, <laughs> whatever that means. So there is a small commission attached, um, but it's very small and I'm not, that's really not why I'm doing it. I'm really doing it out of convenience just so it's easier for you to find things and we're not constantly searching for a link um, to share. Okay. So trying to make it simple, simple on y'all, simple on us. <laughs> So that's where these little beads came from. And so I kind of pulled out a few on this plate that I think I might want to use. And uh, we're just going to jump right in. If you guys are ready, we're going to jump right in. Um, Helen, we have a link to it. Well, uh, I think Cheryl just posted it. Um, there's a link that will take you right to the Amazon storefront. And then from there, you can click into the different um places and, and see. So if you are interested in these Halloween beads, they're under the napkin club on the Amazon storefront. Okay. They are really cute <laughs> and they're not all Halloween. So I was like, Oh, well, good. Some of them are like solid orange, white, natural. So I can use some of those even on my fall, um, project. Um, so who's ready to make a tassel? I'm ready to make a tassel. This is going to be fun. I'm going to change my screen here a little bit. There we go. So this particular tassel, I'm going to be using some of the tinsel on. Um, so I have cut myself two pieces of each of the tinsels. Um, obviously, the more you put in your tassel, the bigger, the more full, you know, it will be. Um, and I like to cut these at 14 inches. OK, I like to cut them at 14 inches. They don't stay that long, but I like to have a little bit of length. And then depending on what I'm going to put them on, depending on what I'm going to put them on, you know, then I'll go in and I'll kind of give them a haircut. Right. So I'm kind of like if I feel like it's a little too long, but I just like having a little bit of extra um, just so I can go in and kind of trim up if I need to. Then I don't have to worry so much about trying to keep everything exactly even. OK. All right. So I, this is what I'm using. I have um, two of each because I just love this. This will be so festive and fun for Halloween. And then I'm going to throw in some ribbon, too. So I'm using this black and white um, check ribbon. A couple pieces of that. I'm also going to use this orange and white check ribbon. It's a slightly different shade of orange. I have a couple different shades of orange on the nap, the napkin and the, um, the pillow. So that'll be good. And then I'm going to put in a couple of pieces of Baker's twine. Okay. A couple pieces of Baker's twine. And then I want you to cut one extra piece of Baker's twine here. And, um, I'll show you how we'll be using this. We'll be using, uh, some, we'll actually need a couple of pieces. So just make sure you have some extra twine, um, handy for when we kind of tie everything up. Okay. So two, 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 and two, two twine, two ribbon, two of each tinsel, two more of this ribbon. And so, uh, 14 inches is what I'm using. Okay. Uh, obviously if you were doing earrings, no, nope, this would be way too long. And you also don't want them to make them that thick. So I'm going to just kind of come in and start layering things up. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of play and layer. Just kind of put all the tinsels in and then this and then my twine. Okay, so you can kind of see that it's all layered in there. Now I'm going to take a piece of this. I should have laid this out first. This is just my twine. And again, because I'm using this length, I don't think it's going to be uh, I don't really worry too much if I don't get this right in the center the first time. Okay, so how can you tell? Well, I'm going to just pick this up. Okay, I'm going to kind of pick it up and I'm just going to kind of look at it. I'm going to kind of look and see, okay, that's close enough. I think that's looking pretty good right there. And then I'm just going to tie this and I'm going to tie it really tight really, 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 really tight and a double knot. 
And you can see that now we have the start of our tassel. Let me go back this way. Okay, we kind of have the start of our tassel, right? Isn't that cute? So this is, you know, if you don't, if you haven't tied the double knot yet, this is a great time for you to kind of be looking at it. Does it look the way you want it to look? Do you want to adjust anything? Is it full enough? Do I need to add some more? I think this is going to be plenty full. <laughs> it's going to be really, really cute. <laughs> yes, so cute. And also you can make tassel ghosts. If you're just using everything white, like just go into your stash, white lace, white yarn, white fabric, um, white ribbon, like you could just add all the things in um, and make yourself a little, a little ghost tassel. That'd be cute as a necklace too um, for Halloween. That'd be cute. Okay, so now we have all of our little bits and pieces in here. Just leave this hanging. Just leave this kind of hanging just like this for right now. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take another piece of twine here. And as cute as this is, we really want it to look more like a true tassel. So if you want to um, kind of manipulate anything around here, what I'm going to do is take this piece of twine. Okay, I think you can see that there. And I'm going to put this down right here and if this is hard for you oh i don't think i have any out here do oh yeah i do hang on hang tight you know how sometimes i use a clothespin when i'm making bows we can do the same thing when you're making a tassel because we really need to kind of hold this part tight so i'm going to take this clothespin and just let it kind of hold some of this as much as I can right there. It's just going to kind of hold it tight so that way I can take another piece of twine and I'm going to put this on really tight. And this is going to give me the head of my tassel. Okay, little head of my tassel. Again, double knot. I'm do this really nice and tight. We can take off the clothespin now. And you see now we kind of have our little head of our tassel. Um, you can manipulate and kind of move things around, you know, if you need to, but isn't that cute, right? So, so cute. <laughs> so if you were doing a ghost, it would be really fun because if it's all white, this would look like the ghost's head, right? It'd be very, very cute. Okay. Now I'm going to start working up here at the top and luckily I, I want to add some beads. I think beads are just, these beads are just so super cute and super fun. So I have these. I also have some wooden beads that are a little bit larger. So if you wanted to mix in, you know, larger beads, you could. Um, my pillow is a natural canvas. So it, it's perfectly fine to throw in maybe a few of these natural uh, bigger beads if you want to, or you can just stick with the ones, the colored ones, whatever. Really doesn't matter. This part is just, just fun. And to make this a little bit easier, okay, I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue on uh, the uh, tails here, just a tiny little bit. I'm going to just let it sit there for a second. We don't want to burn our fingers. <laughs> Just let it sit there for a second and then twist it and then just twist it. And what this does is it'll dry and it kind of makes your, your twine, the ends of your twine, almost like a needle. Okay. Yeah. It's so cute, right? <laughs> okay. So if I want to, oops, if I want to thread this through, let's see if I can thread them both at the same time in this bigger this bigger one a bit. Oh, no, no, no. It's going to be harder. And this one started splitting on me. Let me add a little bit more glue to it. And this time I'm adding a little bit longer glue, um, a, meaning a little bit more glue to make this a little bit longer. So that way it's going to be easier to just push through.
this one through. Let me hold it tight. Hold on. There you go. So we can put on a bead. And these have a little bit larger holes. So these are going to be, I think these will be a little easier. Yeah, look how cute. Do you see? So you can add in some beads. Now I'm going to put just a couple up here at the top because I'm actually going to put them into the tassel as well. So let's see. Maybe let's do the black cobweb. I think the cobweb one is really cool looking. And if the ends of your twine um, start to get raggedy, we just cut them and then just glue it again. This one, one came through and one did not. Do, do, do. Yeah, see, gets kind of raggedy. See how it kind of split. You can also do this with Mod Podge if you don't want to use hot glue. Yeah. There's not a YouTube video on the pillow. I did the pillow in the napkin club. Um, don't have a video on that, a public video on that, at least not yet. I need to put these through at the same time. Maybe I should have just glued them together. That would have been smart. You know what? Let's see what this would look like. Maybe I'll do a black or white. Let's see. This is the one that keeps wanting to split. Here we go. Kind of like having two. Let's see what this looks like. This one is just being stubborn, you guys. Come on now, don't be don't be shy. Come on through. There he goes. Let's see what this looks like. Mm -mm. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to do two in the middle. And then let's do like this one, maybe on the top. I'll try gluing these together. Let's see if that makes it too thick. Bingo. Okay, that worked great. <laughs> so you just want to be sure. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like separating them. I like them together. So just make sure that you leave enough um, of your twine to be able to tie it on. Okay. Um, yeah, you, you know, they do make those, um, those really large tapestry needles that could be good to use. Usually this works just fine for me. So let's do, oh yeah, I was going to do this one and it could even be the beads some of these seem like they have bigger holes than others let me try something here i'll use a pin
Ah, oh, that was handy. I just used a pen to push that through. Cute. Look how cute that is. The spider web. I think that is so cute. Okay, I just want to add one. I'm going to add one more. Um, and then I think this will be plenty. Okay, the pin for the win. That works great. Okay, so we need to make sure that we have enough up here to be able to tie it on to our zipper pull because, because again, this is a double-sided project, right? So what does that mean? Well, that means... I'll be tying on, and this might even be a little bit long. I'll be tying on, tying this Halloween tassel on to here when I'm having it on this side. And then I need to be able to untie it to put on the fall tassel because it is a reversible pillow. So I'm going to actually take one of these beads off. I feel like that's a little, that's giving me, you know, I need a little bit more room here. Go ahead. I'm going to pull my twine apart that was glued. And then I'm going to tie a knot in the top of this, a double knot. That way the beads aren't going to go off. I've got a nice knot there. And then I can simply just tie it in a bow, just literally tie it onto the zipper pull. Okay. So cute, right? <laughs> so fun. Okay. So let's look down here at the bottom of, th of this. All right bring the camera down a little bit. So here's our twine pieces. We've got, you know, we've got all kinds of all of our other um, tinsel in here. What I'm really trying to get to are the twine pieces. So I'm going to kind of pull them out and then we'll, we'll mix them all back in here in a moment. And I want to look at, oh, there's one more piece of twine. Hang on. Okay, just pulling those out. And I'm just going to kind of run my hands down this. Okay, and then this is where I can come in and I can cut. Okay, so if I feel like it's a little too long, I don't want you to really worry about it. I'm just going to kind of cut it across. And you can cut all kinds of fancy little tails in your ribbon if you want to. But that way it's just a little bit more even. But I hope that you noticed I did not do anything with these. Okay. So I'm going to pull this part back. Because these, I'm going to tie on more things to. Okay. I'm going to tie on more things to. And then we'll fluff it out, you know, and, and all of that. So let's look at what I've got here. I have... Um, Obviously, I have more of these beads, but what I really think are cute are these. These are so cute, and I'm a little concerned looking at the holes um, if this is going to be hard to do or not. So we won't know until we try. They are a little tiny. Let's try the ghost. Make sure I have plenty on the end. Baker's twine can be kind of thick. There are other um, like hemp uh, twine and cording and things like that that are much thinner. Might be a little easier. Oh, look, look, look. It's going through. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Look how cute that little ghost is. So now if I want to put even, maybe I want to put a, an orange bead underneath the ghost. And then what am I going to do? Well, I got to tie it. So you could put multiple, uh, multiple beads. Make sure you do a double knot so that the knot doesn't slide back through um, our bead. Look how cute that is. So these can be hanging in our tassel. And then what I like to do is just kind of trim off a little bit of this bottom part and then unravel it. Just hold on to the knot and unravel it. So then it looks like a little, almost like a little tassel itself. <laughs> Gail, these beads are in my Amazon shop. I got them on Amazon. 
And you can do these at all different lengths. Um, we can, you know, we can kind of go back and forth and look at our, um, see if I can get it to go through without gluing it. No, I've got to glue it. We'll, we can kind of hold it up, but I just like them kind of mixed in. Just mix them in wherever you want. If you have trouble getting it to go through, um, the pen seems to do the trick. There it goes. So they don't all have to have a charm. But I think they look cute. I think they look really, really cute. Let's add this. Let's see. Where is the cat? Okay, the cat goes through here. Cute. So see, you could even have kind of a mixture. It's really just up to you. What do you want to put in it? <laughs> How much of it do you want to put in it? And then just remember double knot so it doesn't go back through. Whoops, I didn't tie the knot in the same place. This one will have a triple knot. So cute. Okay, so I kind of like them when they're all at different lengths because it's kind of like a little surprise on, you know, what you're going to see and where you're going to see it. Um, you could even do one whole twine could be nothing but beads. You know what I mean? Like if you wanted to do a long, just a long strand of beads. I'm barely putting, I'm just kind of dragging the tip of the hot glue gun on, on there. So it's really not hot. There you go. So cute. So I know we're doing Halloween, but just think about it. If we were doing something else, if we were doing something else, right? Like one that you're going to wear. Um, well, obviously you could wear this too. But just think about it. It could be any kind of beautiful, you know, little charms from jewelry, like jewelry charms, um, pearls, um, gosh, just trinkets, keys. I love old keys, things like that. So it could really just be, you know, whatever you want to put on. Whatever you want to put on. I'll put three beads on this one. Um, I think the tinsel is going to be hard to put a bead on and the hot glue will kind of melt it. So it's just going to be better, I think, to use um, twine or something like this for these kinds of things. I'm going to go ahead and hold this up so that you can see. Now we got to mix them back up within our um, our tassel. But I think you can kind of see. Do you see how they're all just kind of hanging We'll fluff this tassel up and they'll just all be kind of in different spots within the tassel. <laughs> they're just so fun. Um, the beads are in my Amazon shop. Let's see, what which ones have I not put any on yet? This one. And then also, if it is something like a charm, okay, like a charm, um, you can use jump rings. Y'all know what jump rings are, right? So jump rings are great because then you can just tie, um, you put the charm on the jump ring and then you can just, just tie the, the charms wherever you want. And those can be tied with ribbon or really anything. I'm trying to think of ones we haven't used yet. Let's use the spider. Oh. Let's 
to the spider. Cute. And let's do an orange with him. Think about how long they're going to hang down. Do y'all like it? You like my shirt? My shirt says fall mode. See it? Fall mode. <laughs> it was my monthly t-shirt this month from Cotton Chaos. I'm in their t-shirt club. And I love it. It's so cute. I don't wear a ton of animal print, but I think this is like just enough. Like just enough. I like it. Okay, look how cute that one is. So, right? So now let's think about like um, we could have even done uh, jingle bells, right? If you're going to do a Christmas tassel, you could even do some jingle bells. Do you see? They're just going to be kind of all in there. It's kind of harder to see until we get it all really fluffed up. And you want to make sure that they don't, that they're kind of falling where they're supposed to fall within your tassel. I think I had one more string that I didn't, there it is right here. Okay, let's see what we have left. We have a bat and a jack-o'-lantern left, I think, if I got all of them out of the box, and I think I did. Yeah, aren't they cute? <laughs> okay, let's do this pumpkin. Now, this pumpkin looks kind of small. This hole looks kind of small. Oh, it's going through. All right, it went through. And the bat, I think this is my, nope, I've got one more here. Okay, let's do the pumpkin with a black. They make wooden beads for every season, for every holiday, for every, everything. And let's do another check here plaid i guess this is really a check okay i see it now on my fall tassel we're going to do something a little bit different we're going to tie in it's mainly going to be ribbon and a uh, torn fabric so that's going to be cute and then, like I said, once you get your once you get your tassel on your project or wherever it's going to be, wherever it's going to live, then we can um, look how cute. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to just show you all the little hangy things in there. <laughs> so, yeah, we just got to kind of fluff it. You can move things around a little bit on these. This one might be a little bit long, but I think it's kind of cute. I kind of like seeing the little beads just, just hanging in there. And then once it's actually on um, the pillow, let me just show you what it's going to look like. It's going to be darling. So here is my pillow. Here is my zipper pull. And I'm literally just going to tie it on um, oh, I just barely left myself enough. You guys make sure and use more. So I'm just, I can just tie it on with a bow. Okay. And then that way, so this is going to be just, it's just so cute when you prop them and, you know, it's just kind of a fun addition. Can y'all see it? Okay. <laughs> so cute with all the little beads and everything in here. So I like to just kind of let it hang and then I'll look at it and I'll be like, okay, I think I need to move kind of this around. I want these in the front. You can kind of shift them around even though they're tied. And I just think that looks so cute. It's just so cute, you guys. Make sure you can kind of see all the little things in here. Oh, there's another one that doesn't have any on there. Okay, now what will happen is I'll have to separate these because, you know, I pulled them all to the front. So they get kind of twisted up. Yeah, so once I untwist them, they'll all kind of fall in their place. Aren't they cute? <laughs> so fun. Okay, so 
This is my Halloween side. Yay. You want to make sure your zippers up here at the top is just a great place to be able to tie it on and add it. And then what I'm going to do now is when I get ready to turn the pillow, right? This is the fall side. I'm just going to untie my bow here. And I'm going to take it off. And then I'll store it with my Halloween stuff. And then um, we're going to make one now for the fall side of the pillow. Okay, the fall side of the pillow. And this could be any kind of pillow that you have. These are pillows that I napkinized in the napkin club. Um, oh, good, I have a little bat. So I saw I can add a couple more charms on that one. That'll be fun. So let's go ahead and switch gears for a minute and let's do fall. There actually are fall beads online. I don't have any. I didn't, I don't have any, but I've seen them. Um, but I thought it would be fun to do one with some fabric this time. So I'm going to show you kind of the, the ribbons that I've cut. And again, 14 inches is usually just, that's just what I do, 14 inches, okay? Um, so I cut uh, a couple of these. Orange check, this kind of green, light green plaid. And then this chevron, this kind of a, a pretty neutral chevron here. And then um, instead of twine, I'm going to be using jute. Okay, this is just a thin jute. Two pieces of that. Now, this is something I want to show you. This is the ribbon that I used to make the bow on the pillow. So let me show you what the bow looks like. It turned out so cute. But look at it. Can you tell what I did? Yeah, I cut it in half. It was too thick, but it was the perfect color but it was a little too wide. So I simply uh, cut it in half. I'm going to do the same thing for my tassel. Okay. And this particular ribbon has wire in it. So if you want to take the wire out, you can, or you can just leave it. It's not going to hang quite as freely with, um, with the wire. So if you want to, you can literally just Pull the wire out. Just see the wire right there? Yeah, you can just pull the wire out. This is also how you can um, pleat your ribbon if you wanted to pleat it. So now it's just going to hang nice and, and free, right? Don't worry if you didn't cut it well. Don't worry about that. It's going to be in the tassel. Nobody's going to care. All right. So let me show you if you wanted to pleat your ribbon or rough, make a ruffle out of your ribbon. Do you see, all you have to do is just pull the wire. Pull the wire, isn't that cute? So you can make all kinds of little flowers and ruffles and all kinds of things just by cinching the ribbon on the wire. But for my tassel, I'm actually just taking the wire completely out, okay? All right, so now I wanna throw in some fabric, okay? I wanna throw in some fabric with this mix. And so I, this is actually our fabric from the Fabric Fan Club this month. It's called um, Pumpkin and Spice. And I think it looks really, uh, I was kind of just looking to see if I liked it with the pillow. And I really do like it with the pillow. Look how pretty that looks together. I think this one looks good. I also pulled this one. I think this one looks good. I mean, I think they all, I think, you know, there's several of them here that I have that I was like, hmm have this orange one. So I know for a fact I really like this one and I kind of like the black one too. So we're going to tear some strips. Um, I personally love tearing fabric. How many of you love tearing fabric? Oh, is that new for you, Christina? The ple the, the make ruffling? Um, yeah, it's so fun to do. And you can do that with any wired ribbon. Um, you just take the wire out of one side and then you just smush it up. You know, you just gather it on the other wire. Yeah, there's all kinds of fun things you can do for that. Okay. I like, I like tearing fabric. <laughs> it makes me feel empowered. <laughs> so how do you tear fabric? Well, all you have to do, this is just a cotton fabric, okay? All you have to do is decide about what you want your, your width to be. So I'm going to cut a couple of these and I'm just going to do a couple of slits. Okay. You see that? Just a couple slits right there. And literally all you do after that is just tear. 
I like the sound. Some people can't stand the sound of torn fabric, <laughs> but I like it. And then you're going to wind up with this really nice kind of um, frayed edge. Love that. Let's do this one. And it's going to be stringy and, and wonderful, full of texture. So I'm going to just pull these strings. It's by pulling the 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 thread actually pulling the strings that's what gives you this awesome um fray on both sides isn't that great so let's do a couple of these oh these are a little bit long i just cut them from some of my fabric scrap or tore them from my fabric scraps so let's see if I'll like that. isn't that a pretty combo you want to have some interest let's cut one more um sometimes when you're first tearing fabric because it's gonna kind of tear along its it's um how do you say that like my first one watch see my first one kind of tore but it gets skinnier 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 because this was a scrap piece that just means i didn't cut it straight you know across so it's gonna it's gonna tear straight so if your fabric wasn't cut straight sometimes you'll wind up with something like that and honestly that would be fine um, to put in this tassel but i'm gonna cut a little snip again so those of you if you've never torn fabric um yeah it's so easy and it's so fun and it just uh, it just brings in a lot of texture right a lot of texture imagine making a denim a uh, tassel like that'd be fun too to have as a necklace maybe you do denim and lace and pearls and you know something that would be really cute for a denim tassel so you could make it go uh really casual or you could make it dressy yeah i like these i like these colors together and i think i'm gonna throw in a little bit of this black okay um, you could do tassels to wear in school colors. Um, that would be fun. Um, um, just to show, you know, show your spirit. <laughs> so many ways. Oh, I did better on this one. So again, just pull some of those strings, threads, whatever you want to call them. All right, I'm going to do one more piece here. So again, just a little snap. Torn fabric makes really pretty bows. Um, so even thinking forward to Christmas or gift giving, um, I love the look of a torn fabric bow. Um, you can make like a messy bow with mixed with all kinds of fabrics or ribbons and be a lot less expensive if you're just kind of using what you have on hand than buying a bunch of bows and stuff. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Okay, we're gonna start layering it up. You crochet rags with, with fabric strips. Yes, we do. I do something else where I make my own cording. Have y'all seen that? We'll have to do that this year in Craft and Chat because it's great for ornaments. All right, let's start um, kind of layering this up. So this one's gonna have a little more ribbon twine. This stuff is so curly, but just kind of lay it in there. what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. And again, I forgot to put this underneath. So I'm just going to use this jute.
and just kind of eyeball it. My fabric is definitely long, a little longer than some of the other pieces. And some of you may want, like I'm just, oh, I'm not on the camera. Let me show you what I'm doing. Sometimes when you're holding it like this, that's when, like, if you realize it's a little bit off, um, you can just pull, right? Just kind of pull it around to make it even or evener. That piece is a little long. But I don't really mind if they're not all the same length. Some of you, that may really make a difference to you, okay? And, and that's okay. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Let's tie it up. We're going to tie it nice and tight. All right, and then I'm going to kind of when it has fabric, when it has ribbon, what I'm doing right now is I'm making it conform. Okay, I'm the boss of it. Do you see what just do you see what I was doing? I'm just kind of pulling. I want that ribbon to really conform to want to go down and not try to go out. I want it to go down. Um, and sometimes that happens when it just depends if it's thicker ribbon, whatever you've got going on on it, in it, on it. And then again, we can kind of play with it, but I really like that. Isn't that cool looking? So with fabric, it's going to turn. So, you know, sometimes you're going to see just depending on how it's fluffed, you might see the back side of the fabric or not, but, um, I just don't, I just don't worry about that. I just let it be. So I'm going to come down and just cut off. Mainly what I'm cutting is this excess fabric. Perfect. Okay, we're going to need a little bit more jute to do the head of our tassel. And this, I'm, I really now that I'm looking at this, I really wish I would have made this longer. So what I think I'm going to do is put another piece in because that's what happened to me on the, um, on the Halloween one. It got kind of short. We really want this one to be longer so that we have plenty enough after we put beads on or whatever that we're going to put on. Um, we have plenty enough to be able to tie it onto our, wherever it's going to go, right? Like the zipper pull from instance for me. Okay. Now I have it a much longer piece here. Okay. I'm going to do this again. Just kind of, I like to just kind of pull them every which way. I didn't do that as much with the Halloween one because I didn't want that tinsel to, to tear. I wasn't sure how strong it would be. Fabric and ribbon is a lot stronger than tinsel. So um, you're going to find that depending on what you're using, um, yeah, you can be, a you can manhandle it a little bit more. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and do the top part. And I'm just going to add in, make these the same. And let's see if this goes in easier. Than the baker's twine did. I'm still gonna have to have some glue on it. So this time I'm gonna glue them together. <laughs> you like all these ideas? Yeah, I'm. You know, in craft and chat, uh, that is one of my goals. Sometimes is I want you to use your stash, and these tassels are great for scraps. You could even do an eclectic tassel that's just all of your scraps, right? It doesn't have to be any kind of rhyme or reason. That'd be fun to have like maybe as a tie back on, you know, a curtain or something in your craft room or maybe the pool on your ceiling fan <laughs> or just something fun that you can hang on to, you know, uh, use as an accent on something else. Fun, fun, fun. 
All right, there's one wood bead. And I don't have any other, you know, different kinds of wood beads. I'm gonna go ahead and put in, let's see if this orange will be okay. Do y'all think this orange will be okay? I think it will. It's a little brighter, but I think it'll be okay. Much easier. Okay, so if you want to do something like that, now I'm still going to do my little head of the tassel because I just think um, that's important. Oh, here, sorry, y'all. Let me go ahead and tie this knot on since I'm doing it out of order. <laughs> okay, if your knot happens to be thinner, then you're just going to tie the knot more times. This jute is a little thinner. So I'm going to tie it off three times and that way I have a really nice knot that's, so it's not going to let anything um, down. And this is nice and tight. So now then, let's do kind of the head of our tassel. All right. I don't have as many fun things to add into this tassel. But if I went to the store, I might be able to find some leaf charms, right? I don't know. I don't think I have any in my stash. But that's the cool thing, too. Even if you don't have it in your stash now, that doesn't mean that um, you can't add something to your tassel later. There we go. Tight, nice and tight. Cute. Now, if like this, I want to show you this. So see how my ribbon kind of turned when I tied this? Then I'm just going to turn it back. You, you can turn it, you know, so that it lays where um, the fabric's going out the right way. Look how fun that looks. That's going to look great. So I can still come in and um, tie in just some natural beads. I think this was, this is almost like too short. I think this was the one that was on there when I added my other. So I'm just gonna trim that one off. So this one might not be look quite as festive as that one just shot across the room. Might not look quite as festive as the, um, the Halloween one, but it's still going to look really cute and it's going to have a lot of texture. And to me, that's what fall needs. Lots of texture. So we have our jute, we have our torn fabric, we have all these pretty colors um, in the beads. I'm almost kind of thinking we just go, we go more with the beads. Let's see, let's see how this is going to look. Let's do like five. It's starting to unravel just a little bit on the end, right? You can make angels from tassels. You absolutely can. That's right, Sue. <laughs> There's so many fun things you can do with them. And I'm telling you, this is a nice little gift for somebody. I wear my um, uh, my lace tassels. I wear them all the time, and they just look so pretty as a long necklace. There. Oh, my knot came undone. Take them. Oh, you know what? My knot did not come undone. It's too small. It's too small. I forgot to double it. All right, let's do it again. Or triple it, I mean. Remember, we got to triple this one. It's thinner. Yep, not bad. There we go. That's cute. So see, you could even do a longer one where you have like a, like I could have even gone further on this one and did the whole thing. Just had a couple of strands in this one with nothing but beads. That's really cute. Here's another ribbon, 
that's kind of turned or fabric that's kind of turned. You see how it got turned? So I'm just gonna twist it back around. And that way it's falling the way that I need it to fall. That's really cute. I think we'll do another one like that. I'm gonna go in here inside this one. All right, so while I'm doing this, um, questions. Any questions at all? Happy to answer them. <laughs> They're so much fun to make. They really are. They are a lot of fun to make. Are you going to give them a try? Fossilized dinosaur poop. <laughs> Well, that's neat. Hey, we can craft with anything. We sure can. And you're making science interesting. So, yeah. Fun. And then, of course, what am I going to do? This will tie on to my zipper pull. Oh, that one's got a defective hole. Okay, so the beads are in the Amazon shop. Um, and some of you probably already have some beads um, in your stash of supplies. And this is what we do. And if you do want to go in and do any kind of special cuts on the end of the ribbon, you know, obviously you can do that as well. Let's see if that's big enough. Yeah, make sure that knot at the end is, is not going to come through your the hole of your bead. Okay? You're watching while your husband's making French toast and sausage. Oh, what a good hubby. <laughs> So I think this one's going to be really cute, too. I love the little surprise of the beads in there. Isn't that fun? Let's um, now I'll be adding more beads. I have lots more of these little um, these little strings here, but you'll just kind of fluff it, just kind of fluff it, separate it. Um, it's OK to kind of manhandle it. Right. Be the boss of it. If you need to turn anything around, let's look at it over here. And let me pull out one of these beads so that you can kind of see, get the effect. Isn't that cute? Isn't it cute? It's going to look great with my pillow. I'm just going to kind of hold it up here so that you can see. So cute, right? <laughs> it's going to look great on my accent pillow which yes, believe it or not, is, is napkins. <laughs> okay. So did you have fun? Did you have fun with this one? This is, I mean, everybody should be making a tassel necklace, um, a tassel for something. Tassels look great on gift bags too. Tassels look great as ornaments. Um, gosh, there's just so many different things that you could do. I'm going to try to kind of spread these out a little so that you can see the, the fun little trinkets and treasures in here. All right. It's a little ghost. <laughs> and then um, as wearables, they really do look so pretty as wearables. Okay. You can see my little pearls hanging in there. It's just kind of fun. It's like a little surprise. You can just have all kinds of things, kind of um, trinket things hanging in there. And then, like I said, let's if I can get it over my big, my big hair. They look so cute um, as just wearing them as a long necklace. Doesn't show up as well on my t-shirt, but yeah. Yeah, 